This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. In this segment, I want to talk about the new tax deal and the lies and deception around it. Please, just slap me and wake me up from this nightmare of ignorance and arrogance. John Boehner and President Obama must think we are too stupid to see the underlying motivation for their latest backdoor deal. Heck, this is so slimy I can't believe Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid aren't involved. Oh, I can hear my critics now. This is what Washington politics is all about. They're compromising, right? Wrong. What they're doing is playing to the voters' weakness for gifts and handouts. They're giving us the tax cuts, but at what cost? They kept the capital gains and interest income tax at a minimum. They're maintaining an asset cap on the estate tax. They decided as a trade-off for not taxing the upper end of the income earners, they would extend the unemployment and reduce the payroll deductions. Now isn't that grand? No, it's not. Not one bit. And anyone with even a little business savvy or an ounce of common sense would realize it in a heartbeat. Let me explain. Currently, there are several misperceptions. First, do you think we're overleveraged? In reality, the private sector has massively contracted its debt and grown its asset base. What does this mean? It means that the American people and American businesses are like a tightly wound spring waiting for the government to show it any signs of sanity. Once it does, then an expansion of spending and investing can start back up, providing jobs once again. Next, there's a misperception that our economy has been on the decline the past few years. This is just not true. The GDP in 2008, 2009, and 2010 was 14.4, 14.1, and now $14.6 trillion, respectively. This means the economy has just been above flat. But how can this be when we hear so much bad news about the economy? Since World War II, we have become addicted to 3.3% growth. And when it even dips below 3% for just a little bit, we feel the pangs of a failing economy. When it falls into the mid to low 2% range, it feels like the end of days. Why do I insist on going into such detail on these economic points? Why do I also keep pointing out that over 75% of the national debt is owed to the American people? Yeah, that's right. We owe ourselves the money that the media keeps screaming about. Why is this so important to understand? Because with this knowledge, you can easily see how foolish the tax deal is and how ridiculous both sides look making it. See, the real problem is that the recovery we are just starting to experience is happening without job growth. We must realize that without job growth, the debt will continue to climb and there is no way out. It is literally a house of cards. The simple common sense conclusion is that every decision made in Washington for the next two years should answer the simple question, how do we create private sector jobs? Now let's examine this bogus tax deal and how it doesn't create one single job. Leaving the Bush tax cuts alone is a no-brainer. Why would you want to add tax burden to anyone during a recovery period? By leaving the capital gains and interest income tax stable, it provides an opportunity for investment. But at the same time, they extended unemployment benefits. This increases the deficit and only prolongs the need for people to take a step down the employment ladder. The payroll tax reduction is also a stupid move. Social Security is cash flow negative already. So what does it create? We cut the revenue source more? We need to stop with the handouts for votes mentality. We need to provide real incentives for businesses to hire people. How about a $5,000 check to every business that hires someone that's unemployed and keeps them on the payroll for six months? How about eliminating the death tax so entrepreneurs can focus on building their business instead of protecting their wealth? It's time we stop the foolishness in Washington. It's time we start applying some common sense. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you like what you've heard here, go pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Also, check out our website, PCSFA. Dot com. Until next time, be safe out there.